Hello everybody. So during this session, welcome. And during this session, I will try to introduce that some basic concept of the security and uh, how it's really simple to implement some security in IoT system. So, so be before to enter in the security, uh, I suggest that you get an eyes around you and in your life. That's today we are in a connected world and even I'm absolutely sure that in your home you have some gateway, you have probably own gateway that is really deployed in the US where you can manage in a remote control your display, your own display, your solar panel, and your appliance and a lot of things. The second area which is used the connected thing is the deployment of the smart grid by using the smart meters. But you have also that a lot of connected things in the core and even in your body with the deployment of the wearable. And the last environment that we could have some connected things is the city with the management of the traffic light or even the management of the camera. Then we are now in the connected world and then we have some vulnerability and then we have to protect our data and we have to put in place some security. This is the basement. We have a lot of examples on the press and on the field on the attacks. One really simple example is, yes, is an example done in December 2013 where some people receive a lot of spam coming from appliance, home appliance, coming from the fridge, coming from the washing machine. This is really funny for the hacker, but not really funny for the user. A second example is really well-known list thermostat attacks, where the behavior of the thermostat has been com completely locked. A third one has been done in the last summer in the smith smart metering system, where the smart meter has been hacked and the bill has been completely locked. And the last one is a really simple done by, in, uh, by scientific in uh, Atlanta. We have really simply used a radio and a laptop to hack the traffic light. You can imagine the, the disturbance in the city. Then this is a really simple attack, and we can have this one in your home and around you. And today there are no security implemented on this system. And it will be really, really a problem for your life in the future. Then, before to enter in the solution, we have to understand what is really the security. And the most thing and the most important thing is to understand what is the security. Is the degree of importance or protection from harm and it applies to all your assets and this asset could be your person could be your data could be anything you would like to protect and you have at least two main reasons to implement the security the first one is to protect your privacy data and the second one that you have a social responsibility vis-a-vis -vis the network when you connect anything on a network To design a secure system, you have four steps to think about. You cannot start telling that I will use such component of such component. It's not the right way. The best way is to first define who is the owner. And this owner has to define the asset he would like to protect. And he has to evaluate the risk. And based on the risk, he will know the level of security he would like to implement. This is the first step to do. The second step, the second step is to evaluate the threats. The threats, the objective of the threats is to attack your assets. Based on that, the asset will exploit the attacks to recover your data. And based on these three elements, define your assets, evaluate the risk and the level of security you would like to put, evaluate the threats and define the right attack, you are able to define the right countermeasure. If you start to implement countermeasure without this analysis, 
you are absolutely sure that your system will be not secure at all. Whatever the system, whatever the IoT system, whatever the smart grid system, whatever what we would like to implement. That we, I will detail, I will enter more in detail on each state. The first one, that's the owner protect the assets, and there are four words to keep in mind. It's really simple. Then first, the sender and the receiver of the asset has to be authenticated. That's the first words that you have to keep in mind in authentication. Then afterwards, the information has to stay um, has to uh, stay trusted. It means that you have to ensure the integrity of your data. The second one is your data has to keep private. You have to ensure the confidentiality of your data. And the last one is your data has to be available anywhere and at any time. That you have to ensure that the service perform to protect your data and to give your data are running well and are not corrected. Then only four words. Four steps to define four words to keep in mind. Authentication, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. This is the first step. The second step, you, have, you evaluate the threats. A typical example is a smart metering system. You have several, uh, several steps that you have a data center which administrates the complete system. You have the cloud, you have a gateway or a concentrator which manages a graph of meter, for example, and you have at the end an endpoint which could be a meter, it could be an appliance, it could be anything else. And at each step of the system, you have to provide some security to prevent such threats like, like a fake server that manages the meter, for example, a nervous dropper, and data collection, data corruption, a fake devices the denier services, or maybe any corruption of data during the transit. It's always the same threats, whatever the system. This is the second step we have to analyze. Then, you have to identify the attacks. The attacks is different of the threats. What is the kind of attacks? You have three kinds of attacks. The first one is the non-invasive attacks, what it is. Is the attack performed by computer? That's, I think that anybody here on this room can perform this attack using a computer or erring in the, the signal to decrypt, in fact, the key. And the early well known is the whole blood attack performed on a cell. That it's, the experience is not so used to, to do that. You don't need to have your device in front of you that you can perform that through the network is the most common attack done on the system. The second one, a bit more complex because you need to have the device in front of you, you have to unpack the, the, the chip and you have to perform maybe some attack like laser or UV or any fault injection and you have to corrupt the services on the software running on the system. You need a bit more experience on how the chip runs and the software which is embedded in this chip. The last one is the invasive attack. And this is performed mainly by experience, experience, sorry, by laboratory, external laboratory with machine which is cost, which is really expensive like probing and reverse engineering. This is typically the attack which is the perform by common criteria during common criteria certification penetration testing. With these three kinds of attack, you can differ, define the level of security you would like to apply to your devices and the cost you would like to uh, apply to perform these attacks. This is the first steps. Now, you have all the elements to define your system and your security in your system. When you speak about security, you don't speak on not only a trusted component, it's a global environment. You cannot define a trusted component and put on the table your component and say, okay, you can now open it and play with it. No, it's not like that. You have to define a complete infrastructure and trusted infrastructure by implementing some rules, some process for the development of the supply chain. The second thing for sure is to develop trusted components at 
the device properly proper at the network and in data center. And the last step is to be sure that the people involved in the security play their own role and are, are, uh, knows exactly what they have to do. If you protect the key, but the people keep the key and put it on the website, the security is lost. That is the uh, something that all the people working on the security have to keep in mind. Then we will focus next in the trusted component, as the rest is the rules. The solution in trusted component is what? Is the cryptography. All the data will be protected with cryptography. You are absolutely, you, rem you remind the forwards needed to do some security. Do you remind that? Just forwards. No? You don't hear me. You, sleep, you are sleeping. No. Just four words. You don't remember. Authentication, availability, integrity, confidentiality. Don't forget that. This is the basement of the security. That's to implement that. That's the solution at cryptography. And what is the cryptography? It's algorithm. And the algorithm is performed with key. Then to apply some authentication, what it is? It's implementation of mutual authentication. A mutual authentication is just a get challenge or in the TLS authentication, mutual authentication. It's really simple. The second one is to, per to perform the confidentiality is using uh, data encryption, using symmetric or asymmetric algorithm. I will not enter in the detail of all that. Have a really crypto uh, colleagues on the booth and I engage you to visit our booth see rigid pain in detail on the process how to use private key secret key public key how to generate and to verify the signature and so on I don't spend no time like that the third one to perform the integrity is to generate a signature and verify the signature mainly this is performed with a public key and a private key you generate the signature with a private key and you verify the signature with a public key. And the last one is the data availability and this is performed by implementing the secure boot and the secure firmware upgrade. All these four functions and the attacks are demonstrated in our booth with a, a small demo by commanding STM32 and a secure element. And you can play with it and you can shake the balls and you can see that we are either in the good else, it is working well, or always in the bad else if you corrupt the system. This is funny, but in the real life it's not funny at all. Then, after these four words, well, I don't ask you to repeat the four words because, uh, okay. The cryptography algorithm are the key. Yes, yes, ECC, RSA, and so on. But which is key is the security level depends on the crypto key protection level. That today we, see, we, we, we heard that security is implemented by software, by memory, by standard MCU, by anything else and so on. And we don't know what we have to use to implement in our system. But in fact, it's really simple. It depends on your analysis of the risk level. All these chips provide the same crypto algorithm, but this chip does not provide the same protection for the keys. And the force and the strength of your system will depend on the strength of the protection of your keys. It's really simple to attack a crypto memory. It is really difficult to attack a secure MCU. And the cost you will invest to attack a secure MCU with semi-invasive, invasive and non-invasive attack is diff different between all these chips. That's why when you have defined your security level, you have also defined the solution we will implement in your system. ST is since a long time ago involved in the deployment of the security that we are developing since 
at least 20, 20 years ago, secure chip for mobile with implementation of NFC, M2M and cars, but also developing traditional market of the smart card for your banking cards, your SIM cards, or your identity. And also now implementing a turnkey solution for, it's not emerging market, this is the market that is coming really fast. This is for IoT, for smart metering, for home automation, for brand prediction, and for TPM for the computer. With this market are covered by ST chip, ST secure chip. It's different of STM32, and the difference of both products is the level of protection we have implemented by hardware and software on the chip. Then, uh, we have a long experience on the security, and we have started at least 20 years ago by implementing security function, and to prove that, we have every year obliged to certify our product by external laboratory and to have certificate. There are plenty of certificate. The most constraints is the common criteria sec security uh, certification. The, the common criteria assure the robustness of our chip and assure that your methods to develop, develop your chip are well. And is the only certificate you protect you complete process and your chip. There are also a plenty of other certificates dedicated for banking, for ID and so on. And this year, the France has defined a new certificate dedicated for the cybersecurity. And we have received these awards beginning of January, highlighting that the ST Secure product, ST33 and ST31 product are dedicated for the security for the computer and for the network and for the IoT. Then we have the change to have in generally enough our company some experts dedicated on a crypto algorithm. The, for example, Johan Damon has defined it in 2000 the AES algorithm and has provided last year the KCheck SHS-3 new algorithm. And with this experience and the, um, the, the security expert we have in the company, we are able to provide to you that's all the step and all the advice to build your system. Then, the complete portfolio allows to ST to be engaged in all the markets. Um, we have uh, just for your example, the Kirky product, which has been in introduced one year ago to meet the expectation, to reach the expectation of the smart metering system. This is now deployed in France and in Germany for the smart grid system. And the rollout is coming and will come. We have also the opportunity to address now the IoT system is the same scheme. We, we will put the same rules and we will define a new product for this new market. I will engage to see and to visit our booth and to discuss with my colleague. We will demonstrate to you our similarities to embed security in such system. But keep in mind the four steps before implementing anything and keep in mind the four words needed to secure your system.